Tanse, Wild Killer. Today we are reading chapter 2 of Garnt's. The chapter title is T The Tears I Shed. And there is going to be a warning for self-harm self before we start this. Also, it's been a week and a few days before I first did the first chapter, read the first chapter. The, it, if you want to know what happens, what happened in the first chapter, read the description the link will be in this description or you could check out the playlists so let's begin garth's point of view i lied of what i said in that note well some of it i lied i will definitely not be seeing anyone today not even lawrence i'm staying in my room all day and maybe the whole week tears streamed down my face as i thought about what happened last night i was embarrassed my i i embarrassed myself why do i always do that as the silence grew, the more tears I cried. Lawrence, you need to speak to Garth about this, I heard my baby brother Zane say to Lawrence. As I heard footsteps walking up the stairs, I really don't want to talk to any anyone for your info. What if he doesn't talk to me? You're right, La you're right Lawrence. I don't want to talk to you. Then I will, Zane replied. That's when I heard footsteps walk to my door. So I hid in the closet. I cried silently. Knock, knock. Garth, can we talk? I heard him ask me. I didn't say anything. Garth? I still stayed silent. Not a single word came from my lips. I heard him sigh. Then he walked away. I was now alone. How I wanted it. Garth? Ugh, why can't I be alone? It was Zane. Why does he... Why does he care how I feel? Then he actually came into my room and actually knew where I was. He opened the closet door and I stared at him with my puffy eye, puffy red, puffy, with my eyes puffy red from crying. Wh what? Can't you see your big brother is crying? He wants to be left alone. I asked. He shook his head. Yes, I see that, but we need to talk. But I don't want to. I snapped. Okay, fine. I was trying to help. But apparently you don't want to, me to. I'll leave you alone then. He yelled. Then left and slamming my door. I whimpered and cried more. My phone kept vibrating with messages from Afmao. But I ignored them. Yes, Afmao is my best friend. But like I said, I don't want to speak with anyone. I got up and went to my bed and picked up my pillow, and under it was a little pocket knife. I mostly kept it for protection, but today, that's not what it's for. Worthless. Cut. Stupid. Cut. Bastard. Cut. Disappointment. Cut. Weak. Cut. Crybaby. Cut. As blood ran down my arm, I set the knife on my nightstand. I got a tissue and wiped the blood on my arm and my cuts. I winced in the pain as I did this. It hurts like hell. When I was done, I threw the tissue away in my little trash can and I pulled my sleeve down so no one would know what I did this know that I did this except me. Somehow I got to the ba I got to go to the bathroom and clean the blood of my knife without them seeing me. I quietly opened the door and closed it. Then I tiptoed to the bathroom. I closed the door and turned on the sink. Lawrence's point of view. I sighed as I flopped onto the couch. Garth didn't want to talk to me or Zane. I'm worried about him. I wish I could help him, but he'll just block me out. I start to tear up myself, but I didn't. I held back the tears. I needed to stay strong. Poor Garth is so embarrassed. Buzz, buzz. I felt my phone vibrate. It was Afmau. I looked at the text message she'd sent me. Tra trashy Afmu. Hey, Lawrence. I'm just checking up on how things are going between you and Garth. And I'm sorry of what happened at the sleepover. I hope no one's mad at me. If so, I apologize once again. And if you two are, are good, can you make sure Gargar texts or calls me back? Thanks. Emojis. Little Lawrence. Hey, Af, of course. I could... But really, I can't. Garth isn't talking to me or Zane. Trashy Afmu. Oh, sorry to hear. Hope things are things get better soon. Ladder, hon. I sighed again and put my phone away. I really need to talk to him. 
about everything what that happened last night, even if he wants to or not. I don't care. I got up and walked upstairs, not caring how much noise I make. I say that because Zane is reading and wants it quiet. Like, again, I don't fucking care. I arrive at Garth's room and knock on the door. Garth, talk to me. Here's an author's note. That was the end of the chapter. Read the author's note if you want to. Anyway, this was chapter 2 of Garth, Garth, of the Garth fan fiction of One More Night. So, I'll see you guys in the next chapter, maybe. If you want to. Or not. Now, nah, I'm, I'm still gonna read it, even though. So, yeah. See you guys in the next chapter. Wild out. Bye! <laughs>